what inspires you? I get inspired everywhere I go and by everything I do. So whether it's starting a project, I'm inspired by the house, the homeowners, something I see, or I can be inspired by a fabric, a piece of china, something I see in my travels. But the good news is there's lots to inspire us every day in the world that surrounds us. If you do ever feel stuck, you know, you're on a big project and you just uh, hit that roadblock, what do you do? I think if you ever get stuck when you're starting a project, you just need to get out. You need to go out. My thing is to go out sourcing, go out shopping, and be inspired by the world. If the visual world isn't at your uh, fingertips in terms of great shopping destinations, then pick up a book, pick up a magazine, and just let yourself you know, disappear into the pages. And I can absolutely 100% guarantee the inspiration. Uh, I'm sure you've done projects from big to small. Oh, can you name some of your favorites or the sort of projects you like to tackle best? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I really have favorite projects. I guess for me, uh, the key is being able to see it through to completion, which is what's always drawn me to making my television programs. And the element that I love best about the shows is that by the time we leave, everything is done. Done to the last piece of art hanging on the wall and the flower in the vase. And I find an extraordinary sense of satisfaction in seeing a completed, finished project. How do you complete a project that's, that's trendy and current, but still will last till the next renovation, which might be a decade or two down the road? If you want something that will last, the most important thing to do is remove the word trendy <laughs> and go for uh, classic and timeless. And that's really my approach, is to try and make sure that all the fundamentals are classic and timeless so that they will stand the test of time, so that they will endure, and so that you will enjoy them for years to come. And if you want to add a current trendy element, small doses. Are there any uh, either classic designs or, or really popular trends that just drive you crazy? You know, shag carpeting or mirrored, mirrored walls, what is it? You know, I guess the thing about all trends is they're good in small doses. So too much of anything is never a good idea, uh, whether it's animal print, which I'm wearing. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're interested in animal prints in your home, small doses. Just, it's just an accent, not the whole sofa. So it's always good to be mindful that anything that is trend focused should be used as an inspiration, as a quick hit and as something that's easy to change because that trend will be replaced by a new one and you never want your home to look like it's stuck in a time warp. How does it feel for you as a designer uh, to have so many people looking to you for advice? Uh, it's a job I take pretty seriously. Uh, I take my responsibility that I'm sharing advice and ideas with people seriously, so I want to make sure that I'm only putting good information out there and helping them achieve their goals. And that's really the goal of my new show, which is Sarah 101. How much uh, are you in the sort of development of your, your various series that you've been involved with? I'm it. So it starts, it starts with an idea that comes from me, and I have a partner that I work with in production. Um, but I, I write it, I think of it, and I see it all the way through to the end through editing. It's a long process. <laughs> it's much easier to have a baby. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I've had two of those, and I've had four series, and the babies are easier. Thank you so much, and thanks for coming to Winnipeg, braving this.